Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium R-Line 4 Motion. This particular one is deep black pearl effect on the exterior with Titan black leather with silver underlay. It features keyless entry on all four doors, LED running lights, LED headlights, LED turn signals and reverse lights, an illuminated front logo, stacked dual headlights there, silver and black accents on the R-Line front here, an R-Line badge right here. 21 inch machine black and silver alloy wheels, silver roof rails, silver window surrounds, body colored paint below the chrome line, our, our line uh, flare right here, and then you do have that deep bowl line down the sides. Also, LED light bar on the back, illuminated logo right here. It says Atlas right below the illuminated logo. A 5,000 pound tow hitch down here, seven pin adapter included, quad for exhaust tips on the back. SEL off to the left here for motion off to the right This little spoiler accent right here on the sides Let's take a look inside So you open this guy up here. Here's a look at that black interior here. It's a leatherette right here Perforated leatherette below that leatherette down here on the door panel and then also bottoms to the the uh, door handle here Silver tips on the window switches. You have bottle and cup storage here and then you have this lift gate, a power lift gate button here. I can lift up on that guy right there and that's gonna open that rear lift gate. And then I can lift up and hold and I will also close that lift gate. Hold it till it closes. Here's a look at your seats here. This is that black leather, Titan black leather here with silver, uh, silver underlay right here, the diamond stitch pattern here, three seat memory here, power lumbar forward back and up and down, seat back adjust here, stainless steel scuff plate here, I'm going to climb in here so it doesn't keep raining into the car here. Stainless steel pedal caps down below. You also have this flat, flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel. Paddle shifters on either side here. Uh, volume controls over here. Song skip and preset skips off to the right. You do also have a heated steering wheel button right here. This is a telescoping steering wheel so I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, set it where I want, and then lock it back. Our line badge down here at the base of the steering wheel here. Uh, trimmed out in piano black and then the flat silver finish on a three spoke setup here the logo right there in the middle automatic headlights are off to the side here you can actually get a peek at the ambient light showing through right here as well you have this double stack vent here as well on each side wood grain on the door panel here goes around the door handles into the door or into the uh, dashboard here behind the 12 inch infotainment screen over to the other side there's a speaker up here now instead of a storage bin uh, so there's been a lot of changes to this car Piano black continues across right here underneath the infotainment screen over into the door panel right there, just up to it. And then you also have a digital cockpit here. So you've got multiple screens here for at your disposal here. So by hitting the view button here, I can change it between this guy, this one here with navigation. I do also have uh, this one here, um, multiple screens, and there are also ways to incorporate navigation in here as well. I can also arrow down right here this being an SEL, there's my dynamic road sign display, uh, speedometer, driving data, and then of course there's the navigation one there. Up above there's also a head up display right there. You can see it flickering uh, barely right there. Um, it shows your speed limit signs, your road sign recognition, the recognition is up there. Your adaptive cruise control and lane assist also show up up there. Speaking of lane assist, over here on the button and on the tip of the stalk here, I push in on that guy right there. That activates lane assist right there by hitting OK over here. And I can arrow down my adaptive cruise control. I can't turn that on over here, but I can turn that on over here by hitting this button that turns it on. I can also switch between that and regular cruise control, side assist, rear traffic alert, front assist, and then I can actually close out of that too. Um, I want to go ahead and turn the heated steering wheel on so you can see that. There you go. It's three main phases there. It starts on high, then medium, then low, then off. Um, you do also have uh, over here on this side uh, your climate control. It's currently off. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up here. Touch the blue dot there to turn it on. Now my climate control is on. I'm also going to uh, turn on a heated seat and I can do medium or low or off as well. So it starts out on high, then medium, then low, then off again. Same with the ventilated seat there. I can run that simultaneously. Uh, I've got that on either side here. Um, and I'm just gonna turn that off too. I don't need the fan on while I get a heated seat on. Um, vent controls are all right here. There's a slider here to adjust fan speed as well. You have air care, which is your air filtration system. 
by tapping that little oval right there. That's my air filtration system. It's actually going to filter the air before it circulates it through the cabin. Um, scrubs the air of like na nasty little smells that are outside or anything of that nature. Uh, so you're not smelling them in the car. You do also have smart climate, which allows you to do clear view, warm hands, uh, warm feet, cool feet, fresh air, quick cooling. Um, so those are quick, quick view buttons there. Um, but if I do clear view, it's going to do the frost because we're starting to fog up a little bit here. So it's going to blow off the, uh, the condensation there, get nice and warm and toasty there. Um, you do also have um, a option to speak your commands. Hello, Volkswagen. My feet are cold. Okay, warming your feet in the front. I don't know if you heard that, but it said, okay, warming your feet in the front. Very nice. You do also get App Connect on this, which allows you to do Android Auto or Apple CarPlay wirelessly on this car. Just hook up with Bluetooth and it'll prompt you for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay to do wireless. Speaking of wireless, you have wireless charging down here on this side. You can charge your phone in the case there. It'll do that without you taking it out of the case in most cases. Then you also have two USB-C's right here that are backlit and that little trap door you just push to close. There's also a USB-C up here on the side for uh, if you decide to go with a dash cam, you have that there. This one has an auto dimming home link mirror here with three door garage door memory and a digital compass right there. There's your buttons, Bluetooth button there. This home link is a whole app, a suite of uh, things that you can do with home automation. Uh, so you can uh, sign up for that and control things from your home or in your home as well. So um, there's a new shifter. The shifter is this little nub guy right here. It's a shift by wire setup which frees up all this box down here for storage underneath. So now you have storage bin down here. You do also have uh, the park button right there. So to put this guy in reverse, I just push it with my foot on the brake, I just push up. It chimes like an Audi, the little yellow reverse icon shows up there. And then there's my camera there. I have trajectory steering, so I turn that wheel left, the yellow line moves accordingly, I turn it right, the yellow line moves accordingly as well. I also get this wing, wheel swing animation over here on this side. So you can see that there when I turn the wheel, it shows where my wheels are gonna swing out away from the car there. So if there's a trash can or something over there, I know not to steer into it. Um, that's a 360 camera as well. So I can touch the front to get the front camera over here, touch the side, I get both sides right here, touch the back and I go back to this rear view. And if I touch overhead, I get an overhead here. Um, but I'm gonna put it back on the rear. There's my rear right there. Um, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it in park here. Just push the P button there to put it in park. That camera goes away. You do also have your start stop button right there. Uh, and then your e-brake is right here. You just lift up on that guy right there to activate it. And to take it off, you put your foot on the brake and push down to release. Uh, cup holders right here. You have uh, stadium seat style cup holders where this one's a little higher up than this one. So you don't have lids bumping each other on the way home from your drive through Then you do also have storage here and storage also inside of here. Back to this screen though, we're gonna go over something else here. You have ambient lighting in this car. So by bringing up the screen here, if I go to interior, ambient lighting, I have automatic amb ambient lighting on. Also, I can change the brightness here from bright to dark. I can change it just like by doing that, uh, but we'll leave it on bright for the first owner. And then also I can change it from automatic color, whoops, I double tapped, from automatic color to me picking a color here. And I can change you can see across here change it I always go partial to purple there you go you also have oranges and reds and yellows in there but there's purple and it brings it to purple here uh, so for that ambient lighting it comes across right here it's in the door panel as well all four door panels and it goes across right here over to this side and into the door panels it doesn't show up as well on camera there for the door panels you can see it back here uh, barely all right so you do also have a way to adjust your brightness here as well so doors I can do it to a hundred percent contours a hundred percent color and leave it alone with the, co on the color there whoops and then touching it in the middle there brings it back down so I can go up up I'm messing with stuff here there we go and then I can turn on automatic color if I want to go back to that and it uh, shifts between red white and blue uh, kind of boring it does that but uh, yeah, there you have it. Also, this car does have gesture control, so I can wave my hand down, and it's not doing it. 
there's a drop down screen here and it's not working for me there maybe it's disabled in there there it goes it goes that way I've got it this way so that split screen right there I can turn on and off that auto start stop there I can also swipe through the menu here and check tire pressures and there's my oil level as well uh, and then I also have um, this screen here that's also a split screen uh, multiple tiles here as well and you can change out tiles if you like um, let's see here up above light gray color on this uh, headliner here there's a power sunshade right there I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually adjust the climate control here uh, go back to classic climate here and we're gonna turn down this fan speed and go out of that there this guy right here I just touch here on the right slider touch and slide back that's gonna open that slider there the power sunshade there's your panoramic sunroof right there. That pane of glass opens up and stacks on top of that one. It's raining actively right now, so I'm not gonna open that. But you get a pop-up windscreen here, and this slides back on top of that back there. Um, I've done enough of these videos where you can see how that sunroof opens. I demonstrated in darn near all of them. Over here in the glove box, there's your manuals right there, tire warranties and a Ziploc bag underneath that. And then your um, seat belt clip protectors are right here. That ambient line looks pretty cool there. Bottle and cup storage over here. This is also a power seat on the driver's, on a passenger side, I should say. And it's hard to pick up here, but in the dash here, it actually says Atlas. Uh, the camera's not gonna pick it up here, but it's backlit at night. You'll see it light up here where it says Atlas shining through with the ambient light through the dashboard there. Let's take a look at the back seats. This one here, there's a look at the wheels right there. This one here comes in at 55, 131. Extras on this one include 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror, 346 for the monster mats, 275 for third year prepaid maintenance, 173 for a bumper dillo protection plate on the back, and then you do have um, 110 for a luggage net and 17 bucks for a, um, a USB adapter. 1350 for destination comes to 55, 131. As we open this up here, this is a bench seat setup. So you can get three car seats in this row right here. Car seat hookups there, here, and also here. In the door, there is a sunshade right here on either side. You just attach that guy right there. Wood grain continues back here in the back. There's also ambient lighting that traces through here. Leatherette right here, perforated leatherette here, and leatherette up here. Bottom of the door handles right there. Three storage bins there. Here's a look at your seats. Pockets here and also here. And then you have two vents back here in the back. Heated seats on the two outboard seats here. They start on high and then medium then low then off, just like they do up front. And then you do also have two USB-Cs right here and a three-prong plug-in right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Let's see if I can open the door and get some light in here. There you go. You can see that three-prong plug-in now right there. And I have lots of leg room here. I'm wearing my Reese's socks today. <laughs> appropriate lots of leg room here and I can actually recline this seat as well so over here on this side this is a armrest also that folds down right here cup holders in there as well that's how you know you have a new car squishy up firm on this guy right here you pop it back up you do also have headrests on those both of those seats there as well as this one here manually adjusted seats silver underlay on the two outboard seats that are leatherette I'm sorry leather and then this middle seat is leatherette Let's take a look at the rear hatch. After we look up front here, there's your instrument cluster, center console, the ambient lighting there, and you can kind of see it in the door panels back here. There's a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof as well, covering two rows of seats right there. And as we open the back here, or go to the back here, let's look at your wheels again. There's the chrome bumper dillo on the back, and between the T and the L is the button to open the hatch. Here's a look at the stuff that's back here in the back here. This is a seven seater. So you have two rows of seats, those seats there and these two here. C pillar vents on the uh, two outboard sides here or the, on the C pillar here on both sides. Here's a look at the uh, the USB adapter, the luggage net here, cargo blocks, front license plate. We put that on on a request. Rubber mat kit right here. And then underneath the floor, there's your subwoofer and spare is underneath that, underneath the carpeted floor here. Jack apparatus is off to the side. These seats will fold flat as well. Okay, with that seat reclined, I messed that up a little bit, but they fold flat, completely flat, and those seats will fold flat as well. Two more USB-Cs right there for a total of eight in the car, and then you have storage cubbies there and over there as well. 
there's the button to close the hatch. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it. That includes, that includes two years of free maintenance. This particular one has three years of free maintenance. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're gonna give you three extra years a total of six years of free maintenance on the car. Your 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60,000 mile oil changes are all covered. And then that's free of charge as well. Also, um, that is a local deal. You'll have to come to my dealership to redeem those additional three. Because the car will come with three that you can use at any dealer in the country. If you're interested in this car or another one like it, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.